Hello and welcome to Yoga Flow with Monica. I am Monica and today we're going to have quite a powerful practice. We will be working quite a bit on our abdominal strength. Uh, so be ready. We're going to start with sun salutations just to kind of warm up a little bit faster. It won't be a very long practice, so take your time, but at the same time, remember you can do it. As I mentioned, it won't be very long practice. We're going to start at the top of the mat. So just stand up. Come to the top of the mat, relax, relax your shoulders, inhale and exhale, you can keep your feet hip distance apart or together, whatever feels more comfortable, shoulders away from the ears, <clears throat> inhale, exhale, one more. making sure that the tailbone is going down, so you, it's looking down, and at the same time, not sticking out the belly. One more breath here, just to ground in to the floor. When you're ready, we're gonna lift the arms up. You can bring the palms together if you wish, and then slowly dive forward and down. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant both palms to the floor and step one leg at a time to the back. Plank pose. Slowly start bending into the elbows, releasing the, uh, all the body to the floor and tucking the toes. Inhale, lift yourself up, not too high, mini cobra. Exhale, release it down, tuck your toes, push yourself away from the mat and come into downward dog. If it's the first one, I highly suggest keeping the knees gently bent, okay? Trying first to lift that tailbone towards the ceiling rather than focusing on the legs. So always prioritize the back first. Inhale, exhale, one more. Looking to the front of the mat and stepping one leg at a time. With an inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, lift your arms up and over, palms together or not, and release the palms in front of the heart and arms next to your body. Inhale, exhale, one more breath here. Again with the next inhale, arms lift. Exhale, diving forward and down. Inhaling, lifting the chest and back, parallel to the floor more or less. Exhale, stepping again one leg at a time. Plank pose. With an exhale, bending into the elbows, elbows grazing the ribs and tucking the toes. Inhaling, lifting yourself up into maybe a tiny bit higher cobra, making sure that the lumbar spine, lower spine is not hurting. Exhaling, releasing down tucking the toes and if you want you can actually lift the kneecaps and push yourself away and come into straight line into plank pose and then downward dog. Stay here for two more breaths. Again really bringing the coccyx as high as possible and then maybe straighten the legs a little bit more. Looking to the front of the mat and step one leg at a time in between the palms. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release the palms down, head towards the floor. Inhale, lifting up, palms together. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, exhale, one more. Observe how you feel. Shoulders relaxed and we're gonna go through sun salutations B just once. So start bending into the knees, bringing the arms in line with your ears, lowering the tailbone down, making sure you're not arching the lower back. Exhale, slowly release the palms to the floor, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump if you wish. Landing into Chaturanga, arms and coming to upward facing dog instead of cobra, okay? Exhaling, we all gonna meet in downward dog. With the next inhale, 
start bringing the right knee towards your chest and then step it through back leg back foot 45 degrees angle and straight front leg bend lift the arms up inhale exhale one more warrior one both hip bones facing towards the front of the mat exhale everything and release the palms to the floor lift the leg and then slowly release it back plank pose your choice you can go through chaturanga releasing all the way down or just halfway and then lifting into upward facing dog or cobra exhale releasing down tucking the toes pushing yourself away from the floor lifting yourself up downward dog inhale exhale everything and then start bringing the left knee towards the chest slowly stepping through back foot 45 degrees angle straight and engaged and active front leg is bent lift the arms up release the shoulders down inhale exhale here one more remember shoulders away from the ears hip bones facing the front of the mat slowly release the palms to the floor bringing the front leg to the back your choice again you can go into cobra or upper facing dog just don't forget shoulder blades together shoulders away from the ears and elbows next to your body slowly releasing down tucking the toes you're doing great push yourself away from the floor and lift in the downward dog i'm gonna stay here for three breaths making sure that the spine is as straight and as high as it's possible for you today and then maybe you're gonna lengthen the legs a little bit more as well even bringing the heels a little bit closer to the floor looking to the front of the mat and stepping or jumping whatever you prefer bringing both feet in between the palms inhale halfway lift exhale slowly release it down inhale lift into chair pose so slowly start bending into the knees bringing the arms in line with the ears exhale palms together samastiti inhale exhale after this sun salutation b should be a little bit warmer we're gonna go through the flow again but this time we're gonna go and work a little bit more on the abdominal wall so when you're ready inhale lift the arms up and over exhale dive forward and down slowly no rush inhale halfway lift straight spine and neck exhale step or jump to the back landing into chaturanga arms inhaling upward dog or cobra you choose exhale downward dog inhale exhale one more here fingers spreading wide really kind of clawing into the fingers and knuckles making sure to take that pressure pressure from your uh, wrists and when you're ready lift the right arm up as high as you can but not opening the hip Okay, so the hip bones in line. Stay in down in three-legged downward dog. One more breath. Then we slowly gonna start bending into the right knee and bringing the right knee towards the right elbow. Inhale, lift the leg as high as you can. Exhale, bringing the knee towards your nose, rounding the back inhale straighten the leg exhale last time bringing towards the left elbow so kind of twisting inhale straighten the leg out and release one breath here if your wrists are tired you can always release the knees for that breath okay coming into child's pose just for a second exhale everything when you're ready then slowly lift yourself up if you released to the child's pose and we're gonna work out on another side so lifting the left leg up two breaths here uh, 
downward dog. Three-legged downward dog, just one more breath, you're doing great. Slowly start bending into the left knee and this time bringing the left knee towards the left elbow. Inhale, lift that leg up. Exhale, bringing the knee towards the nose. Maybe it touches, maybe it's not. Inhale, exhale, bringing across towards the right elbow. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, slowly release it down. Release the knees down as well, keeping the toes tucked and sit on your heels. Just gonna release for a second our wrists. Bring the, interlace the palms together and just roll the wrist from side to side. Just kind of releasing the wrist for a little bit. Two more breaths, wherever you are. Making sure that that little pinky toe is tucked as well. So just stretching the legs a little bit. And then coming back into downward dog. Again, lifting the hips up towards the ceiling, downward dog. Inhale, exhale. Two more breaths here. One more. Then we slowly gonna come into a plank position. Make sure that your shoulders are above the wrists, your fingers spreading wide and you pushing, especially into that um, thumb and ring finger, okay? Helping yourself to lift up. Staying straight, spine. If it's really hard, you can release the knees down, but then make sure that you have a nice long a, a line from the crown of the head all the way to the knees, okay? Inhale, exhale, just one more. I know it's hard, but don't worry, believe in yourself. Then slowly start bringing the legs together towards the right side and falling over that right arm, lifting the left arm towards the ceiling. Stay here, inhale and exhale. One more. Side plank, coming back, staying into plank pose, classical plank, one breath. And then shifting towards the left side, stacking your legs if possible, and lifting the right arm towards the ceiling, lifting the hips up. Don't forget to breathe. And slowly coming back, down. Again, we're gonna release the knees down, this time untuck the toes and release yourself down to the child's pose. You can bring the palms to face towards the ceiling so we really, really relax our wrists. Deep inhales. We are trying to bring our heart rate down. <laughs> well, at least I am. <laughs> so just deep inhales and exhales. One more. You're doing excellent. Then slowly coming back out again, tucking the toes, lifting the hips up. Downward dog. Inhale, exhale. If you want, you can walk your dog. So bending one leg, then another, making sure that while you do that, the spine doesn't change position. Come back to stillness for one more breath here. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna bend into the right leg again, and we're gonna bring the knee towards the elbow, right elbow, then towards the left elbow, then release it quite close to the floor, and lift towards your nose, and step back into the downward dog. We're gonna repeat the same on our side. So bring the left knee towards the chest first, and then bring towards the left elbow, Right elbow, release it towards the floor, but not touching the floor. Rounding, touching the nose to the knee, back. Inhale, exhale, we're gonna repeat this. Bending into the right knee, slowly bringing to the front and then right elbow, left elbow, 
releasing down in the middle, picking up, maybe touching the nose to the knee and relaxing back. Inhale, exhale, don't forget to breathe. Start bending into the left knee, bringing the towards the left side, right side, releasing down, but not touching the floor, lifting up, touching the nose to the knee, if you can, and releasing down. Inhale, exhale, release the knees to the floor, and tuck the toes, and come into child's pose. Just two breaths here. Take the deep breaths, make sure that you take time to recover, to rest. Slowly coming back up, but this time we're gonna release the forearms to the floor, trying to make sure that the elbows more or less are below the shoulders. And then take the legs out coming into forearm plank or dolphin plank. Look straight in front of you, making sure that you're not sinking the hips down or you're not having them too high. Working on that quite nice straight line. Engage your shoulders, push into those elbows. Inhale and exhale. One more. Then release the hip bones to the floor, untuck the toes, and just open the palms in front. So kind of still keeping the elbows above the shoulders, coming into sphinx pose, letting the wrist rest, opening the chest, trying to bring shoulder blades together. Inhale, exhale, making sure that your lumbar spine, lower spine is not pinching. If it is, you can always bring the elbows a tiny bit to the front, okay? So always listen to your body. Inhale, exhale, just once more. Great, we're coming back into dolphin pose. So interlace the palms, push into your elbows and maybe lift first the hip and then the knees. Or you can engage and lift the knees first and then lift yourself into the plank pose, okay? Dolphin plank. You can keep the legs together or hip distance apart. I prefer hip distance apart. It gives me a little bit more stability. Inhale and exhale. You might be shaking. I am. It's totally normal. You're working hard. You're working your muscles out. And when you're ready, we're going to start bringing the legs in. Very slowly, bring the legs in, making sure that the shoulders more or less above the elbows still. You're pushing into the elbows so we're not collapsing into the shoulders, okay? Imagine that you are in the downward dog, bed on forearms, okay? So we're still trying to lengthen the spine and lift the tailbone as high as we can. And then maybe slowly start straightening the legs. Having the legs hip distance apart, one more breath here. Last one. Slowly start releasing the knees to the floor, releasing the glutes towards the heels. Relax into child's pose. <laughs> Take deep inhales and exhales here. Two more. Last one. Excellent. I'm gonna come back to the dolphin pose so where you have the hips up like in downward dog. And you can stay here or you can kick out one leg and then another. Okay, so just uh, alter alternate the legs. So when you're ready, slowly lift yourself up as high as you can, checking in that the shoulders still and, uh, above the uh, elbows. Here we are, I made it. Slowly lifting yourself up and then maybe lift the right leg up. Inhale and exhale. One more. 
slowly releasing down, making sure that you're not collapsing into the shoulders, okay? You're pushing through those elbows. Lift the left leg up as high as you can, as high as it still allows you to breathe. Slowly releasing down, walking the legs out. I promise it's the last one. Just two more breaths in the plank, dolphin plank or forearm plank. One more, you can do it. Don't collapse in the shoulders. And again, slowly releasing the hip bones to the floor, opening the arms, coming in the sphinx pose. Shoulders away from the ear, shoulder blades come together. Looking straight in front of you, you don't have to look up. Two more breaths here. One more. Great. Then slowly lift yourself up into all fours. Inhale, exhale here. One more. And then cross your legs and we're gonna sit with the cross-legged position in the cross-legged position, okay? I'm gonna turn to you. I'm gonna observe how we feel. First, make sure that your spine is straight, shoulders relaxed. You can always lift the sho shoulders up, back and down. Maybe once more, up, back, and down. That will help you to open the chest and really sit straight. Observe how you feel, how your breath feels. I know it was quite powerful practice, short but sweet. <laughs> We're gonna open the arms wide and then start bringing the right arm across and bring the left palm over your tricep. And just stretching out the shoulders a little bit. Inhale, exhale, one more. You can close your eyes here if you wish. Shoulders away from the ears always. And then slowly open the arms wide again. Bringing the left arm across this time towards the right, bringing the right palm over the left tricep and stretching the shoulder out a little bit, but make sure it doesn't creep up to your ear, okay? It's relaxed. Inhale, exhale, one more. Excellent. Then again, we're gonna slowly open the arms wide Start bringing the elbows uh, to the back as much as you can, kind of opening the chest, and then bring the arms behind of your back, interlace the fingers, or hook the thumbs if it's too much, and then start opening the chest. And shoulders, shoulders relax, shoulder blades really come together. One more breath. and slowly release it down. And we're gonna finish here. So if you feel like you would like to lay down and come into Shavasana, please do that. Or just stay in seated position for a couple more breaths. Relaxing everything, observing that heat and power running through your body. Then we're gonna bring the palms together and we're gonna seal the practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was quite challenging, but it's a very nice way to really kind of quickly raise your heart without a big impact you know, on your joints. So I really hope to see you on my channel. If you like my video, subscribe. Uh, more content is coming on. And if you have any requests or questions, please feel free to leave the comment underneath the video and I will get back to you. Thank you. Bye.